Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Learner Point. Hoping all of you are very well and enjoy your good health. With best wishes and prayers. The topic of the today video is Solution uh, of the assignment number one of the subject cost and management accounting which has subject code MGT402. The last date for submission of this assignment is February 23rd, 2022, May, today. The total marks of this assignment is 10. So the topic to be covered uh, in context of this assignment are to cost volume profit analysis which is also called I think uh, profit index. And the second topic which is covered by this assignment is budgeting. So without wasting further time, let's go to the assignment questions first we read it and then go to the related assignments to understand what the assignment is asking from uh, students <coughs> so esy a manufacturing concern and sell its product a to northern region of country information related to product sales price and cost is as follows and in, in this uh, case there is a company ESY which is a manufacturing company by nature and it is manufactured a product labeled as A and also sell it in the northern region of the country and in the table which are visible to you uh, has some information relating to the product sales and its cost. So first column is labeled as particular which you find the descriptions uh, corresponding to the each ele element of the column 2 which is labeled as rupees per unit so first sale price and it, it, it is equal to 1500 per unit then we have direct material for 418 and direct labor 200 <coughs> other variable overhead 52 and fixed overhead 67 so requirement one is compute contribution margin per unit and also discuss how it depicts satisfactory conditions in given scenario and the second requirement is company management decides to expand its operation by selling its product to the eastern region currently he is selling his product in northern region so he has a plan to uh, expand his bu uh, businesses uh, in eastern region of the country from the next quarter next quarter uh, of the current year. In this regard, how sales and production estimates uh, budget would be imported to prepare master budgets so that management may take decisions whether to expand its operation. Uh, explain your answer with suitable examples. I try my best to explain uh, especially this assignment number, task number two of assignment number one. If someone uh, found some uh, deficiency or if someone want to contribute something, please uh, welcome and uh, share your suggestions and knowledge in comment sections. So let's move to the solution. I have prepared this solution in Excel. So let's move to the Excel. So this is a part one. So <clears throat> look at this. The first. Uh, cell is representing as given by the assignment which is equal to 1500 per unit less variable cost uh, direct material and direct labor 418 200 uh, i will submit and uh, place a negative values here because we are going to find the contribution margin by subtracting it the, uh, from the sales price per unit which is equal to 882 so contribution margin is 882 so it seems to be good uh, because we didn't have exact information about the fixed cost so we don't find the profit but we have uh, our head cost and the fixed our head cost which is a part of the uh, cost of goods sold which is related to the cross margin but we are focusing in this assignment on contribution margin so it is for me contribution is uh, very good seems to be very good so it is good for uh, company to have a decision to expand its 
<coughs> existence business to the eastern region of the country now in the second uh, task of this assignment is to establish a prepare a master budgeting based on the sales uh, budget and uh, production budget and remember it is very remember to note that the first budget that you are going to be uh, establish or develop is sales budget and on the basis of sales budget production base budget is prepared so first we go to the sales budget a sales budget is very technical and critical uh, matter for all the organizations and uh, management needs many information from different part uh, departments or functions of the businesses uh, to uh, figure out this figure but for the mention uh, for this assignment we are going to assume that uh, the these hypothetical figures so we assume that uh, quantity to be uh, sold in the uh, region in the month of april we are uh, also assuming that business is currently in the first period, uh, quarter and yani starting from january to <coughs> march and the next quarter is second quarter maybe it is uh, third or fourth but i am going to assume this assumption that business is currently in the first quarter and is going to planning for the second quarter to expand its business in the eastern region of the country so for the april month i am going to assume that uh, business is going to be sell 500 units with price which is given 100 uh, 1500 per unit and this is amount uh, <clears throat> because i am considering only one unit please see this first uh, sell our first uh, column is labeling re region only eastern region is there so we are uh, talking about the only eastern region and we also assume that our product is a uh, hypothetical one then its april quantity appears related information regarding quantity price and amount is there similarly uh, similarly we are going to the month of may and quantity is we are going to sp suppose that in month we are going to sell 600 uh, units price is same and amount is 300 or 3 million thousand here 750 thousand here 3 million let me check this i seem it is seem to be wrong yes 900000 let me check this again so here is 1.2 million and for the month of june the uh, estimated quantity of sales is 800 prices remain is is same uh, keeping other uh, factors constant so let's move to the total quantity for whole quarter because there are three months in the quarter we are going to be find out the total quantity to be estimated for the region eastern, eastern region of the country so 500 600 1100 1100 plus 8 1900 quantity price is same then we are going to multiply this let's check this again and 2.850 million rupees we needed for whole quarter now i am going to jump into the production budget and be remember that my production budget is totally different from the sales budget we are only extracting the information from the estimated quantity that uh, to be sold in future uh in the respective month and the corresponding month so i am going to show you the production budget here so production budget here a plan number of units to be sold this is the uh, figure that we are getting from the sales budget so in uh, first month april we are going to assume that we uh, we have a plan or uh, we think many many thing that we can sold 500 units of product a so uh, and closing finishing goods stock is 300 so this is the opening uh, stock of the company for product a on 31st march uh, of this month or of this year i hope you understand this one then units 
of goods available for sales. By adding this 500 and 300, we will get 800 and less opening stock 500. I also assume that at the uh, first gen of current period, uh, which is also the closing stock of the previous period at uh, 31st December of that period. So I will take this uh, figure from the <coughs> from first gen by uh, by assuming that this figure is available. You can choose any one, 100, 200, 1000. You can go with any figure, but for uh, recent assignment, I have uh, assumed that this figure is 500. So 800, 500 is equal to 300. It means number of units to be manufactured to meet the uh, <coughs> estimate, sales estimation budget. We are um, um, man management our company manufactured 300 units. Now we will shift to the um, next month, which is May. So what we have uh, estimated quantity for the month it is 600. So uh, closing finished goods stock at the end of the April, uh, May is 200. Okay, and which is written here. So units goods are available here. 600 plus 200, 800 by chance it is same. So here opening stock, it is for May the opening stock is the closing stock for the month of April. That is the stock available on uh, 30th April as a closing stock will uh, turns into the opening stock of May at 1st May uh, of current years. So we will subtract it and we will get this 500 quantity and the company is involved our plans to manufacture this number of uh, unit for May. Now uh, we will move to the uh, last month of the uh, this quarter June. So again uh, the planned number of estimated sales quantity is 800 for the month of June and closing stock is 100 for the June and uh, total is 900 which is obtained by adding 100 plus 18 and um, by lessing uh, the opening stock uh, which is again the closing stock of the month May on 31st May but turns into the opening stock for the month of June on first date of June. By accepting this we will get this uh, uh, number of units that will be uh, company manufacturer to meet its uh, sales budget in a smooth way. So now we are going to uh, move to the last column which is labeled as total if you <coughs> total this one uh, 500 600 800 it is 900 units but remember uh, don't uh, sum up all these information here because here we only take the closing stock of the June last month here because we are assuming that they are all selling there so we only take uh, last figure of the month which is June now look at this by adding this uh, again we will get 2000 units of goods available for sale for the total uh, for the uh, complete quarter but look at this this is not exactly the equal to the sum of this which is equal to 2500 which is less than it never be equal to the total amount of this uh, unit now again we are going to less opening stock now here the question is which opening stock we are taken here the opening stock available on the first april and which also the closing stock of the uh, month of march on 31st march so i am taking this one here and we will <coughs> sum up here 2000 and subtract this one amount and we are going to get the final figure as a total uh, 1500 unit that uh, manuf manufacturing unit ESY will be manufactured for his uh, next quarter sales. I hope you have understand this solution. Uh, again, if you found any mistake or uh, typo error regarding the calculations, Please mention in the comment section um, for the beneficial benefits of all. So, 
if you find this uh, video useful and beneficial please uh, must hit the like button sub uh, and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget hit the bell button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum